Hey, what's up, everyone? It's me, Dre. Now, uh, back in April 2015, uh, in South Carolina, you have Walter Scott driving with a busted taillight, and he was pulled over by Michael Slager. Now, during the stop, it was a supposed altercation where Slager accused or alleged that Walter Scott tried to seize his taser from him. And you see a video where Walter Scott, 50 years old, was running away from the officer a good 15, 20 feet away. And Slager unloaded about seven, eight gunshots to his back, killing him immediately. Now, we thought that justice was going to be done. But this is also one of the reasons why the Black Lives Matter movement exists is because of the injustices. You have a white cop who kills a black man and he's fired from the force. He uh, goes to jail. And most recently, the uh, jury came back with a mistrial. Uh, there were 11, 11 whites and one black. And with the jury selection, it's not improbable to even conceive the fact that the uh, jury selection was to exclude uh, people of uh, who were going to give fair justice. So what they did was a predominantly white jury, uh, of course, uh, they're not going to convict him. So now you have the family of Walter Scott who is still grieving his loss. But now they get a further slap in the face because this motherfucker is a mistrial and he's gonna, basically going to be set free. So now you have there's a reason why there's uh, this distrust with the justice system and how it doesn't treat blacks as equally as it does whites. That's why when I get into arguments with people and they talk about justice um, and how it's uh, fair for black people, there's nothing fair. And the law has already shown that where you have Brock Turner, who rapes a woman and gets three months in jail, a white guy. And then you have a black athlete, Corey Beatty, who rapes a woman and he's sentenced to 15 to 25 years uh, prison. Then you have Ethan Couch. He uh, he's drunk. He's driving. He hits, a car, he hits a vehicle, kills four people, and he's given 10, 10 years probation. He further compounds to that by fleeing the country to go to Mexico. They bring him back, but all the while they call him the affluenza kid because he comes from a, uh, a well-to-do family, and they said that he wasn't taught right from wrong. But getting a license, one of the things that you know that you learn is that it's not good to drink and drive. It's not good to drive while impaired. Uh, for a foreign substance, whatever it may be. Then you have Rashad Owens. He kills four people at the South by Southwest Festival in Austin, Texas, a black guy, and he's sentenced to life. So that's the disparity when it comes to the justice system. Now you have a cop that's basically going to get away with murdering in broad daylight and on video camera, a black guy, where he told a lie saying that this black man tried to steal his taser but if it wasn't for that passerby who recorded the incident, it would have been basically uh, Slager's word against the world. And that lie would have existed, but it doesn't really matter because now cops out there, even though they're wearing body cams or they have dash cams, they're still getting away with murder, even though the world sees this heinous act being perpetrated. So there is no justice for black people. And for the family of Walter Scott, you can't help but feel bad for them if you have a conscience, but it doesn't matter what the circumstance was to shoot a man in the back when he's fleeing, when you see him running and a cop unloads a clip on him, that lets you know that there's a problem in this country. And when people want to argue about why the Black Lives Matter movement exists, it's because of bullshit like this, because this country and the laws that govern this country were not intended to protect black people. And this is a prime example. It's no different than Tamir's, uh, Tamir Rice. You talk about a 12 year old kid that was playing in the park with a toy gun. Someone calls the cops and says that he looks like he's older and he's threatening people. The cops roll up and before they even get out of the moving car, they shoot this kid dead. And then all of a sudden um, the jury finds that it's a justifiable homicide for killing a black kid. You see all these instances where black people are gunned down by the police. And this is the outrage for, by black people because the law is not here to protect us. But all of a sudden, white people say, well, 
white people are killed by the cops more than black people, but these motherfuckers aren't protesting. They protest because their favorite sports team wins or loses a championship, but if there's true injustice within the within law, they're not protesting that, which lets you know that they're full of shit. Anyway, I just wanted to make this video because, again, this is the kind of bullshit that we talk about. Unfortunately, some people are so uncomfortable talking about it that they like to deflect and be dismissive about it, and that's when they start coming up with excuses. But again, you're talking about a white cop that basically got away with murder. Anyway, if you like this video, hope that you like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook. Peace.